So this is my home management binder and this is my first time filming a video, anything like this angle. So I apologize if it's at all awful. Bear with me and I hope that you can get through this video with me. So the front of the binder I do leave blank because I don't want it to stand out necessarily because this is going to have, when I do get my statements in here, it is going to have account information and I just don't want that. I'm also going to type up something that has all my passwords, but I didn't want to do that because I'm obviously showing you guys so it wouldn't have been helpful for y'all anyways. But So this is my cover page. I just wanted a nice clean cover page. This It says Benet Home Management Binder. I've seen several different you know things like this all over the internet, but I didn't like any of them, so I made mine on pick monkey so this is a heavy duty binder I like these because it has the three pockets so you have one for envelopes if you need and then one for like more full-size paper so it does protect things a lot easier the three ring prong is real nice it's real easy to open and close I put all my head thing head pages into a page protector just to keep them nice and makes it real it's a lot more easy to flip so that is the first page I like to have all mine viewed like this so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the binder so I'm just gonna go step by step in how I actually made it so it took me a while to actually get started on this project because it was hard for me to wrap my mind around how I wanted each thing to be so I went ahead and wrote down all the bills I had on a blank piece of paper so that's what I recommend you do get a blank piece of paper and write down all your bills so for example us we have rent because we do rent a house. Utilities, all our utilities are combined into one, so we just have utilities. My vehicle, I have a credit card, we have a Best Buy card, my husband's vehicle, PayPal, Uverse, which is our TV, um, Random, which I'll explain that later, um, a boat, and then I decided I wanted them to have their own section. I'm going to show you each thing, how I did it, and then I'll go in depth how I organized it. So then I made each one its own page. This is rent, and then I put it in a page protector and added a little tab. These tabs were sent to me by a subscriber. They have a cool texture to them. I think they're probably from Target. I'm not sure. If I find out for sure where they're from, I'll link it below. But they did come in a pack with all these colors, and I just stuck them to the edge. I prefer it this way, so everything's kind of in my control. Each bill has its own page looking the exact same way. Some people might not like that, but I wanted each one to have its own section so I can keep up with each one personally. So that is what I did. Then I went and made an actual chart for each one. I made these on Word, on Word, and basically I just, I turned the landscape to be like this. You can do it up and down if you prefer, but I prefer this view. I, I put rent at the top and just for if you're wanting to make it fun I bolded all the vowels so for each one which is just so silly but it's very girly if you're girly go for it for all the vowels I bolded them now since I just started this I only started in September so that's why my month started in September and then I, I just made two pages so I did September to May and then I did June to February, and you could keep going if you wanted. I just stopped there because I was like, that's fine. So what? this is all the information I wanted to, to do. I had seen several different things online for different charts, and it just was way too much information on one page, which is why I wanted to simplify it and break down each one separately. So if you wanted it to be more simple like that, then go for this method because this is so much more breathable for me than to see one large chart with all my bills on one I just didn't like that so I broke it down each month and I basically wrote how much it is when it's due and then I'll write down then I'll go back in and write when it's paid so obviously we paid it on the first and how much we paid because sometimes for you know credit card statements or anything like that you'll pay more so like on my t on my on my vehicle we always pay more than the minimum so and on our bills too we usually pay more than the minimum unless it's rent or our tv or something so i'll just put how much we would pay but this will obviously be the same how much everything is i basically just put it on there so that is that so for example like best buy the minimum is 25 we never pay 25 so i'm gonna put paid i'll probably put like 40 or 50 or whatever it is that i end up paying i'll put it there and that's that if you wanted to, you could automatically put when it's due and type it in there, but I just wanted to write it. So that is how I did that. I also have a three ring hole punch, so in the back, but not for rent, 
but more for like my credit card statements and my UVerse and stuff. I'm gonna stick the um, statements behind the calendar. I wanted something that was more visible at a glance so I could see what everything was due. I inserted a calendar. Word does have options where you just you go to table and then insert and then there's calendars. So just you can do that if you'd like. And then I just spread it out and I typed them all in there. So I did the, all the months, I think, until December of next year. And then I just go in with a pen and I write down which on what days things are due so that I can see it all visually. Then I also, behind it, made a paid bills at a glance by monthly. So I just did this and then I put a big space and I wrote down the month in each one. So I did it for all the months as you can see. Then I wrote down all our bills, which obviously we might get more bills as time comes, but right now this is the most accurate. I can always update as we go. I wrote, you know, I did the bill and then when it's paid, so I basically just check it off when it's paid so that instead of having to go through each tab and see what's done, I can just look at this just to get a scan of what is left to pay. So then at the end of, let me get through all these tabs, at the very back I made a section called monthly budget and it looks just the same as all the other bills so it says monthly budget it's in a page protector and it's got the tab and it's under budget so this oh this is vertically sorry so what I did is I made a chart and this is gonna help me kind of budget extra money so after everything has been paid for over here this is where you'll have everything and then I just left blank spaces for other things that might be expenses this was just when I went through what I spend money on this was basically where it went. So just to give you an idea to help you, I'll tell y'all what I did. I did gas, groceries, post office because I do send packages to Andy right now because my husband's deployed and I also send packages because I do sell, I make um, blankets and I sell them so this is all my shipping expenses, etc. Makeup because I do do makeup, I clothes, baby, which after when November hits, which is when my baby is born because I am pregnant, I have it say Griffin. So I just have baby stuff right now. And then I have Skylie, who is my two-year-old daughter, if you don't know. Dinner's out, so when I want to go out to eat, which is very rare, but at least I know the money that I have for it. Starbucks, because I do like breakfast from Starbucks every now and then I work right by one, so it's inevitable. Andy, because he I, I put him in his own section because he does have fun, he does have money that he spends, you know, on SIM cards or et cetera while he is deployed and then crafts and then leave blank spaces for other things if I come across them. So I broke it down in money available and money spent. So you can do this. I am st I'm still learning this, but this is I think gonna be the most fluid way for me. How much you need for gas. You need to have, you know, if you know you're gonna spend $200 in gas a month, you need to have $200 available to you. And then at the end of the month, you can go back. So if you wanted to get um, a little pencil bag or something to keep your receipts in, in the back each month, just so you can actually, which I'm probably gonna start doing that. It's easier for me to start this while Andy's gone so I can have it in control and I can actually see. And then when he gets home, you know, we can, I'll at least have a system figured out. That way I can see exactly how much money is really being spent each month on gas, or on groceries or you know whatever it may be so this is kind of a rough draft save your receipts for the month just so you can get an idea this is a great time to start because it's the beginning of September or you can wait and do it in the beginning of October if you would like you could put Christmas down here if you want if you're saving for Christmas you know stuff like that or if it's if like September I could have put birthday because Andy's birthday is in September so stuff like that but this way you know if you decide you're not gonna spend any money on makeup in September or you're not gonna go out to dinner at all in September. Same way I made this table on Word. Here's an example of kind of what one of the things off Pinterest looks like. So this is what the charts would look like that they give you that's way too, that's, that's too busy for me. I can't focus, it just doesn't make me wanna do it. This is so much more smoother. So this is the why I like this method and if you find this easy, then you can do it this way too. So the last thing that I have in here is my monthly income tracker. I'm gonna go to a blank one because obviously that's per personal information. I made it a tab, it's at the beginning. It's monthly income. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip September just because that does have some income that we've made on there and I just that's just private. So 
I made this on Word too. So monthly income, and then you'll just fill in the blank with the month. You can go ahead and type them out if you want, but it's just easier to print them out this way. So um, I would write, this one will be for October. So source of income and amount. So this can be for both you and your husband, you and your boyfriend, just you. Um, if you're only, if you, cause I have several sources of income, me, Andy has one, uh, Andy has his military and then I, you know, have YouTube. I have two jobs. I do makeup, like, so I do weddings and then I also sell blankets. So I have several different sources of income. So this way I can track and see how much I'm making and how much we're making and it'll just be, you know, we'll be able to keep track of it. So just write down, you know, what job it is or what way, you know, you know, wedding and put the date and then how much you made. So this way you can just keep track of it and see how much you made that month and you can go back and look and see how much you spent on your bills, how much you spent in your monthly budget and all your things you did and just see where the money's going. This is a much more controlled way to view your money and where it's going, how much you're spending on bills, how much you're how much is you're blowing. I've taken this binder everywhere with me since I've made it because I'm just, I'm in love with it. I know it's gonna take a month or two to get the hang of it, but it's all about starting. If you wanted me to help actually consult with you on things you know for bills or anything, I'm not an expert by any means. This is my first go around with this, but I would love to help if you need help because I know it's hard to get started. I've been trying to do something like this for months now and I'm, I just feel so much better that I have. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, then leave them down below. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.